people should never try to take advantage of the blessings from others Amen. who seemingly want to maybe take advantage. It's through God's goodness to touch hearts of people who are able to help others who may not be able at that particular time. Amen. Mm -hmm. But there comes a time when everybody must stand up to the plate. Amen. Amen. A child doesn't stay a child forever. Amen. Right. Right. Sometimes that child got to grow up and take his responsibility Amen. as an adult. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And there's no such thing as an adult child. <laughs> right. Right. And I hope you get the point. Mm -hmm. People, when they get grown, they have a responsibility. Mm -hmm. And not for mom and daddy to take care of you when you're grown. You hear me, somebody? Man. The church is not a benevolent organization. Right. The church is a saving station. But we help those who are in need mm -hmm. until they are strong enough to get on their feet that they also can be a blessing to the church that they can help others who are in their condition at one time. Amen. Amen. But don't try to play a game. Yes. Amen. Amen. And also, before I bring the panel up, <laughs> A haircut is European. Amen. People of the Bible never went to a barber shop. Yeah. If you've got $10 to go to a barber shop, you can give that $10 to the church. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. What do you cut your hair for? What's tradition? But we don't follow the traditions of men. Right. Amen. We follow the tradition of the Bible. Amen. So understand that you have an obligation if you are part of the church family. You act like you are part of the church family. Amen. Now some may not know, but I think after this, these few words, I think you do know. <laughs> You got ten dollars. You don't have nothing to do with it. Give it to the church. Amen. One thing it shows, it shows responsibility that you are trying to live up to the code of the human family, especially within the church group. We are able to accomplish what we have by the church family coming together collectively with their finances and also with their praise report Amen. that we can influence others and be a blessing to each other. That's what a family is about. Yeah. And there's no family closer than a true light church family. Amen. We are the family ordained by God Almighty. Right. Your brother and your sister is your brother and your sister. Man. And you should treat each other in that fashion. Amen. We're family. Amen. Now, sometimes uh, uh, some have to grow up a little bit. But that's what these uh, little small teachings are for. If you Amen. didn't know, now you know. Amen. So what is the excuse? There is no excuse. Amen. You say amen. amen. Are we going to have a panel tonight? And uh, you got to go back on your studying and on your calling. The panel is uh, Evangelist Rogers, Evangelist Shiloh, Elder Smiley will be the moderator, Elder Kenya, Senior Elder Brooks. Summary will be Minister Green. Remarks will be Evangelist Teresa. Final words, well, Deacon Josh is not here, so let's uh, govern ourselves accordingly. Now, our main text is Galatians 1 and 6. 
The subtext is Acts 2nd chapter verse 38. Very important. Amen. Reading text. Acts 19th chapter. Verse 1 through 5. Everybody should have that memorized. Amen. Now, you don't have to See, well, I wonder which way I'm going. You already know which way you're going, because I already outlined it. Well, I didn't have a chance to study. You should have been studying this. If you called to be a minister. All right, now you have your reading material. I want you to come up and govern yourselves accordingly. In that order. Praise the Lord, saints. Amen. Praise God. Another day in the holiness to, to learn of Jesus and to, and to grow in him. Amen. Thank God for the, the powerful uh, words come forth from the prophet. Amen. That, that we may spiritually grow. Amen. It's all about spiritual growth so that we can get to heaven and see God's face in peace. Amen. Amen. I give God honor who is the author and furniture of my faith. Um, Jesus only today, to, tomorrow, and for the rest of my life. Amen. I, I know who God is. His name is Jesus. Amen. According to Scripture, I give double honor to God's true prophet, Bishop Prophet H. Walker, first elect named Mother Walker, double honor. Amen. And they are overworthy of it. Amen. Thank God for the labor. Amen. And the and the word and, and work. Amen. I uh, give honor to all the preachers in the household of faith under the prophet. I give honor to uh, all of the preachers up here on the panel. Because I know it's going to be some, some Holy Ghost fire up here. And then yeah. oh, yeah. the devil's kingdom is going to be torn down. That the cowards build up. Amen. 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 Uh, thank God for the word tonight. Amen. We're starting uh, in Galatians. A uh, very powerful scripture. Galatians, the first chapter. Uh, and verse 6. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. Because there is not another gospel. Amen. Uh, Galatians, I mean uh, Acts, the uh, second chapter. A very powerful, another powerful uh, uh, scripture that, amen, is the foundation of being saved. Amen. Uh, Acts, the second chapter, uh, verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, follow the Son, follow the Son of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And we're going to go to our reading text, which is Acts, Acts the 19th chapter. One through five, and the meat of the word, uh, the word reads, and it, and it came to pass that while Paulus was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus, and finding a certain uh, finding certain disciples, he said unto them, Have ye received the Holy Ghost since ye believed? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. Verse 3, And he said unto them, Until what until what then were ye baptized? And they said, Unto John's baptism. Verse 4, Then Paul then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. Verse 5 is very important. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. So, if you're baptized by the Son of the Holy Ghost, you're going to be baptized over again uh -huh. in the name of Jesus. If you want to see Jesus in peace and run this race successfully. And uh, the panel, uh, we have uh, Evangelist Rogers. Amen. We have Elder Kenya Smith. Amen. We have Evangelist Shallow. And we have Senior Elder Brooks. And we're going to bring the, the word out to you. And we're going to tear the, get the kingdom of the devil down. Amen. As we usually do it any other time. I pass to Evangelist, Evangelist Rogers. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Giving all glory, honor, and praises to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, truly the head of our lives. Double lifting and honors to God's true end times apostle and prophet, Prophet H. Walker, and to the blessed memory and legacy of First Lady Mother Walker. 
We give equal honors, giving honors to the honor they do. Bring all the help of the faith and the love and admiration in Jesus' name. Amen. To the YouTube viewers, please get your King James Version Bible and jot down these very critical and important scriptures right. uh, that God has given the prophet uh, to give to us, to give to you. Hallelujah. Just as Jesus break bread, gave it to his apostles, and they fed the people with it. So uh, get your pen and pad and jot down these scriptures and follow along with us as we go into the deep things of God. Uh, you know, it's very important. Uh, these scriptures are showing us how we have to not be influenced by wrong, unrighteous people who have no learning, that have no training, that have no no desire to see God's face in peace, meaning they have no desire to obey the word of God, proven by their actions. Amen. So you can't be influenced by those types of people. You have to be influenced by Jesus Christ, Prophet H. Walker, Amen. Right. who speaks for Jesus Christ, Amen. and right. the saints of God that follow after Prophet H. Walker, who Amen. follow by obedience and by having set up under the prophet to learn uh, the righteousness of God and the scriptures that were read I won't reread them but they were Galatians 1 verse 6 subtext was Acts 2 and 38 the reading text was Acts 19 1 through 5 these are speaking of no other gospel that we only have this one Lord one faith one baptism there are no trinity of gods there is no as it's been brought up before no dynamic duo no it's just God God says he's God alone there is no savior beside him he doesn't know of any other God. So if he doesn't know of any other God, how can somebody put, how can somebody that God created claim that now there's another God? It's ridiculous. So it doesn't exist. The Lord our God is one Lord. And we worship Jesus only because Jesus is the revealed name for God in the New Testament, under the New Testament covenant. So we call upon the name Jesus. For those of you that may not believe, I got saved in the name of Jesus. I've been Amen. healed in the name of Jesus. Right. Prayers have been answered in the name of Jesus, right. not only for myself, but for others, in the name of Jesus. Yes. So the name of Jesus is the name of God. It's a, it's, a made, it's a created word that means Jehovah's Savior, Jehovah God of the Old Testament in the office of saving his Amen. people in yes. the New Testament. Yes. So Amen. if you don't believe, Jesus said, except you believe I am he, ye shall die in your sins. Yes. I don't want to die in my sins. I thank and praise God that Amen. I believe the testimony that God in the flesh gave of himself, that he in fact is God. And there's no other gospel, there's no other doctrine, no other teaching. We were saved by the teachings of Apostle Peter in Acts chapter 2 verse 38 where he gave instruction how to get saved. Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. If you don't have the Holy Ghost within, you are not a part of God and you will not see God's face in peace when he returns. Amen. Acts chapter 19 verses 1 through 5 is a very strong testimony of <clears throat> humility to do it the right way. I was baptized the wrong way. I was raised in a Lutheran church, oh glory to God, and there's like second cousins to the the first cousins to the Catholics, you know, they prayed to, they didn't pray to Mary, but they had everything else, statues and quiet little services, you don't even sneeze, no worshiping of God in truth, in spirit and in truth, God is a spirit and he seeks them to worship him in spirit and in truth, there's nothing else he's going to accept, but I humbled myself after I was baptized incorrectly in the titles Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, I humbled myself once I learned the truth, through Prophet H. Walker, none of these other false preachers out there. And I went to a Baptist church, a couple of them, went to these non-denominational churches, and none of them ever showed me how to get saved. Why is that, I wonder? Because they weren't saved and they weren't trying to be saved. They were only interested in money. Well, the prophet of God, Prophet H. Walker, is interested in saving a soul and showed me Acts chapter 238 in the Bible that said I had to get water baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and then I would receive the indwelling of the Holy Ghost so I thank and praise God for that and the humility of the brothers the uh, disciples rather that Paul found in Ephesus that had not yet been baptized the right way they were baptized under John's baptism which was just it wasn't the way after the death burial and resurrection of Jesus Everyone had to get water baptized in the name of Jesus Christ to be saved, and they humbled themselves and were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I turn it over to Elder Kenya. Amen. Praise the Lord. 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 Praise the Lord
come to you and they give you a, a, a sound message. Yes. They give you a, a message backed up by scripture properly interpreted then that means that you got to be corrected. Amen. Amen. And, and, you know, I've always been the type of person to prove it to me. Show me in the Bible. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to hear necessarily what you got to say but if you were going to say something Prove it by a Bible. And right. you see, ain't no Baptist, no Lutheran, and all them other people. Them preachers are not Baptist. Yes. Yes. They're not proving nothing by Scripture. Amen. Yes. All that they prove by Scripture is, is to uh, not forsake your, the assemblies of our, yourselves together. Yes. Amen. They, they just come to church, mm -hmm. but you're going to church wrong. Amen. Yeah, right. But anyway, the best is shallow. Amen. <laughs> What we're talking about tonight is being saved, but we're talking yes. about the right way to be saved. Thank because right. we know that there's a wrong way to be saved, and that's what these false preachers are teaching everybody. But we're right. trying to teach you that there is a right way to be saved, and this is the only way you're going to make it in. And if we go to our main text in Galatians, um, 1 and 6, then we see that Paul is telling you that there is only one way to be saved. There is only one way to make it into heaven. You can't follow this this baptism of Father, Son, and Holy Ghost and expect to make it to heaven. You can't follow what these false preachers are trying to teach you and expect that God is going to bless you. God is going to heal you. Right. You know, there is power in the name of Jesus. There's, mm. you know, we're not talking about the, we're not talking about titles. When somebody's going to something, when somebody needs to heal it, I guarantee you they call it the name of Jesus. They're not calling up Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. If they're on their deathbed, they're not calling up Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. They're calling them the name of Jesus. Yeah. Because there is power in that name of Jesus. Yeah. And if we go to Acts 2 and 38, 
we see where Peter tells them that they need to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You can't be baptized in Father, Son, Holy Ghost and expect to make it in with, the, with God. You can't be baptized in Father, Son, Holy Ghost and expect that God is going to heal you. God is going to bless you. God is going to take care of you. God is going to give you a miracle. You got to, you know, you got to make sure that you know who you are with. You got to make sure you know you are in the right church. And as if we, like the Avengers brought out in Ephesians 4 and 4, one Lord, one faith, one baptism Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There is power Amen. in the name. Like Papa said, Amen. you can't go to a bank and put your titles. You can't go to the bank and write a check and try to sign it and put Father, Son, Holy Ghost. No, you got to put your name Amen. in the name of Jesus. Right. That's what we're trying to teach people. That's why Paul had to have his, the disciples re-baptized because they are baptized incorrectly. That's why some people have to come to True Life and be re-baptized because you have to be baptized in the name of Jesus. That's what we're trying to teach people. Be saved correctly so you can make sure you make it in with Jesus. You're not going to make it in in this wicked in this wicked world the way that these false preachers are teaching you, telling you you can do whatever you want because you're baptized incorrectly. So of course they can tell you you can do whatever you want because essentially you haven't been baptized. Yes. If you're baptized in the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, it's null and void until you get baptized in Jesus' name and change your life and repent and show God that I'm, I'm for real. I want to be baptized. I want to put down my life to you, Jesus. But God needs to know that you're willing to do that. And the first right. step is to come yeah. to the right church. Yeah. The first step is to be baptized. And then from there, show God your faith. Show God what it is about. Show God that I really want to be saved. That when I got baptized, I wasn't playing around. Show yeah. God that I really have it in me to serve you. And the first step is to get your life right and be baptized in the name of Jesus. Pray rest to the Lord. Amen. 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 What the Bible says, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. You know, you cannot serve God your way. You know, the Bible said, I will come and now is when the true worshiper. And that's what people can't seem to understand. Uh, a lot of people uh, claim to be followers of Christ and they worship God. But are they worship him in spirit and in truth? In other words, we're doing it God's way, the Bible way, the holy way. Right. Amen. 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 And the Bible says, without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Yes. Right. Thank God for the text in Galatians, the first chapter at verse 6. And it reads, I marvel, in other words, I'm amazed that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that will trouble you and will pervert the gospel. And that's what these false preachers have done. I believe uh, in the uh, Jews say they were uh, ungodly men turning the, uh, the grace of God into the sinlessness. In other words, up under dispensation of grace, teaching that you can live a life of sin. All but right. people like the word of God says, shall we continue in sin where grace may abound? God forbid. Right. How yes, should we that are dead to sin live any longer <laughs> therein? In other words, if God brought you out of sin, how are you going to be in church and continue to live a life of sin? All right. That's the case. Yeah. You might well stay in the world and keep drinking, smoking, fornicating, <laughs> and still coming into the church. Yeah. 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 You can't see understand this. And this is where the tire hit the road. Verse 10. He said, for, I, for do I persuade men? If I seek to please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. And that's what's wrong with people. People are so caught up in pleasing men. The crowd, the majority, but the Bible says straight is the gate, narrow is the way to lead the life, and only few that be that can find it. All so right. God is not into no popularity thing. Right. You know, God is in, like the scripture say, blessed are the pure in heart. In other words, it's not like that person does not make a mistake, but they're sincere in their heart, you know. Yes. And anytime you water baptize Father, Son, Holy Ghost, and, and reject the baptism in Jesus' name, you do not have a pure heart because you're rejecting the word of God. Yes. They asked Peter on the day of Pentecost, what must we do to be saved? Peter said, repent and be baptized every one of you. Not some of you. Be, some of you be baptized yeah. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Some of you be baptized in Jesus' name. Well, some of you, you can just shake my hand. And some of you can just point, touch the t t TV for a point of contact. He did not say that. He said be baptized every one of you. Everybody, so if you want to 
want to be saved, you know, and then people try to throw in, well, that's your interpretation. <laughs> the scriptures mention plainly that the scriptures are not for no private interpretation. Yeah. You tell me yeah. what thus said the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. For us that little priests are giving you their interpretation. Amen. You know? yeah. And that's why they baptize you, Father, Son, yeah. Holy Ghost. Amen. That's their interpretation because they're not rightly di okay. dividing Matthew 10 and 28. But thank God we rightly yeah. dividing yeah. Matthew All right. 10 and 28. Amen. 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 The Titus does not say it, just like the evangelist brought up, it's the name. Praise God. Amen. 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 I'm to preach. Amen. 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 I, you know, a lot of people, when they go through stuff, and they go through stuff for no reason. Oh, uh, I want to go to uh, Romans uh, real quick before I turn it off for another round, Robert. Romans, because uh, this is real deep. Um, and I was just thinking about it the other day. Uh, Romans, uh, the ninth chapter, mm -hmm. uh, verse 6. Not as though the word of God have taken none effect. Mm -hmm. For they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. All right, amen. Not everybody saved that say they saved. Amen. That's right. People wonder why they going they going through what they going through. Sometimes you going through what you are going through because you're not saved and you're trying to portray like you are saved. All right. And people wonder why oh, I can't stop smoking, I can't stop drinking, I can't stop uh, fornicating. I, you know, I, I'm a sinner by nature. No, you're a hypocrite oh, by yeah. nature. See, yeah. the thing is, God can't have effect in your life because you're not That's saved true. and you claiming that you're saved. Yes. And see, being saved is an action word. That's right. If you're going to say you saved, you're a Christian, that means you take on the role of Christ. Amen. We know how Christ was when he came down and he, he had to suffer. He had to he wasn't drinking and smoking and partying. And, no, he was trying to save souls. The Amen. same thing that Prophet is doing today. Trying to save Amen. souls. Yes. And if you look at Prophet, Prophet's testimony, what do you do? Mm -hmm. He presses with the church. Yes. Mm -hmm. Even if he's hurting, yes. he don't take no medication at 91. Yeah. 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 He ain't got no, no girlfriend over in, in a corner somewhere. Hallelujah. No, but we, we all know where property is. He's either at the game house playing pool uh, uh, or <laughs> whatever. Or, or he at the house, amen, and he, he on his knees and he praying for everybody. Amen. Which which you, you are here today watching this program because the prophet was praying for you and you didn't even know it. See, it's, it's about the Holy Ghost. And you can't say... I'm saved and you ain't got the Holy Ghost. No God have no effect in your life. Amen. See, if you're really saved, you're going to be able to forsake that bottle and that blunt to put to your mouth. You're going to be able to forsake yes. that, uh, like somebody brought before, I believe it's a uh, red smell. Bust that beer bottle uh, uh, up against that wall until the devil hear a light in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. 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 We got power. But God can't have effect in your life. And first of all, you got to be baptized in the name of of Jesus. It, there is no way around it. God cannot have effect in your life and you say you're a Christian if you're not baptized in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Avengers Rogers. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, these are some powerful words coming forth. Hallelujah. Life. These are living words. Hallelujah. To get you motivated to put down sin. The devil doesn't have any love for you. Sin and the devil go hand in hand. Yes. That temptation that the devil is enticing you to, uh, through other people who have decided to let themselves be used by Satan, you know, thinking that that's going to do something. What is that going to do but land you in the lake of fire with Satan? All so right. if you're influenced by <laughs> satanic-like people, then you're going to reap the rewards of Satan. Yeah. Prophet doesn't want you to, to reap that reward. Jesus doesn't want you to reap that reward. God said that he has no pleasure in that the wicked should perish, right. but that the wicked should turn from their wickedness to righteousness. Amen. The only way you can turn from wickedness to righteousness is to come up under Prophet H. Walker. There is no other, I repeat, there is no other right. prophet of God. Amen. Examine the character of the prophet. As was brought out, he's living a holy and righteous life. There are some that can live holy and righteous. Don't believe Satan telling you you can't live holy. Nobody lives holy. Oh, we're all sinners saved by grace. Baptist, you're a liar. Amen. That's before, Amen. before wow. salvation, before conversion, before you get water baptized in Jesus' name. There is no once saved, always saved doctrine lie of men as was brought up before bringing out their own interpretation of the bible against the will of god and against the plain wording of god clearly seen in the bible a two-year-old can understand it you have to get 
Water baptized in Jesus' name, that is your only pathway to salvation. There is no other. You can't have a point of contact. What is that? That's ridiculous. You can't have, you can't touch a TV. A TV doesn't have a soul. A TV can neither sin nor live righteously. So that TV cannot be a conduit for your, for your being saved. The only conduit for your being saved is the prophet of God who can lay hands on you, water baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ. He is the righteous man that is the conduit between, between getting you connected to Jesus. So it can't be a TV. You can't shake somebody's hand. The Bible says, I'll lay hands on no man suddenly. So you don't want to shake the hand of a false preacher living in sin, just left the hospital, just left guggling down, I don't know how many pills to get to, to the service after leaving his girlfriend, making sure she's sitting on the front pew and the first lady's sitting next to him somewhere. You can't shake that devil's hand and think that that's going to get you saved. God is not recognizing that demon. He's not recognizing that false form of practice that says in man's eyes that you're saved, but it's got to be in God's eyes. God has to recognize Amen. it. If God doesn't recognize it, it is not so. In Mark, speaking of uh, negative influences, in Mark chapter 4, uh, starting at verse 17, this is an uh, explanation of the parable of the seed and the sower. And it says, And these are they, likewise, which are sown on stony ground, who, when they have heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness, and have no root in themselves, and so endure, but for a time. Afterward, when affliction or persecution arises, for the word's sake, yes. immediately they are offended. And these are they, verse 18, which are sown among thorns, which such as hear the word, and the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the lusts of other things entering in, choke the word, and it becometh unfruitful. So when you're listening to these false preachers trying to tell you a, a way to get saved, it's not the way of God. When you're listening to these so-called friends and family unsaved that you had in the world that, you know, want to tag along with you or something like that, just to tempt you and test you, sit back and see if you will make it. They feed you a bunch of lines of things that are of the world that are not of God. Don't listen to those people. Right. Listen to the prophet of God. If you have a thought in your mind, because it is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. If you have a thought in your mind, the Bible says, Lean not to your own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him. Who? God. And he shall direct thy path. Yes. How? He's not going to direct you personally. He's going to direct you through the prophet of God that he has sent Amen. to lead God's people back to the Bible and back to God. So if you have a thought in your mind, I don't care what it is. Run it by the prophet first. And he will tell you exactly what to do Amen. in line with God. Amen. Pray for us. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord, again, saints. Thank you, Lord, in the path that the men of God laid out for us. Still talking about water baptism. All right. Again, we brought out Acts 2.38 was the beginning. Mm. Acts 8 and 16. Yeah. All right. Acts 10 and 48. All right. And also... Acts 19 and 5. And turn with me now to yes. Colossians 2 and 8. One, again, another one of my favorite scriptures. Amen. You, you see where I'm about to go. But where lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of man, yes. after yeah. the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. Preach. I believe back on Seven Mile we had a baptism track, and they gave out the listings of the baptism. So don't believe me. The Bible says study to show yourself approved. Yes. A workman that need not to be ashamed. Amen. Study Amen. to prove yourself or in other words you, you don't make a fool of yourself. Alright. Hastings Encyclopedia. Caney Encyclopedia. Shafe Herzog Encyclopedia. Catholic Encyclopedia Volume 3. Also Encyclopedia Americana. All back up the baptism in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 It was the baptism in Jesus' name to the second century. Amen. When it was changed from in Jesus' name to Father, Son, Holy Ghost. But don't believe prophet. Don't believe true light. Go research for yourself. Amen. I know what I say. Let it prove yourself. Amen. Praise God. Make it a personal amen. All right. We can't go by 
man philosophy. We must go by the man of God philosophy. Amen. Amen. God philosophy. Praise God. These study materials, they don't care what denomination you go to, you belong to. All they care about is historical references. And I thank God. When I was in school, God made me strong in war and history and geography because he's seen through the pores of time. I'm going to call this young man to preach. And I thank God because I've been doing a lot of preaching over 24 years. Amen. I've been doing a lot of studying. Amen. amen. Praise God. And, it, and it, you don't do it for self-grandizement. Uh, you do it to try to save a soul. Amen. We at True Light, we love you, but we do it through the word. Amen. We don't come to beat you over the head, amen. amen. The false prophet just wants your money. But Prophet H. Walker wants your soul, amen. 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 I always uh, take back of uh, uh, the story of uh, uh, John, uh, John the Baptist and, yes. uh, and Jesus, amen, and how uh, John was like, Paraphrasing is like, man, listen, I know you, God. <laughs> I know you're the Messiah. I ain't no need for me to baptize you. Mm -hmm. But what did Jesus say? He said something very powerful. All right. That's it for fulfill all righteousness. All right. yes. I, I got to be baptized. Why? Because I'm, I'm setting the standard for the Christians to come. Amen. You can't, and it's sad that nowadays you see churches where people do not even baptize no more. How are if Jesus, who is, is God Almighty, can be baptized, who are you to, to not baptize or not to be baptized? Amen. You ain't nobody. You are somebody. You are, you are yes. devil in, in, uh, in the flesh. Amen. Yeah, amen. That's what you yeah. are. You're a hypocrite. Mm. Right. Or you just don't know this book. But, but thank God for true light to be a light to shine to you, to tell you you're in error yes. so that you can get out of the grasp of the enemy. And I'm trying to tell people that all the time when I, you know, I speak to people. Well, we're just trying to, listen, the church is to, is to take you out the hands, out the grip, the hard grip of the enemy and put you in the gods. But you got to want to be in God's grip. Amen. That's a thing. It's a choice. What do I want to do? You was baptized wrong. Where is the humility at? Lord. I see through scripture that, oh, wait a minute. I got to be baptized in the name of Jesus. Why? Because Amen. when you look over in the book of, of Matthew, the 28th chapter, verse 19, and, and when Jesus commanded uh, uh, the disciples becoming uh, apostles to baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, they knew what Jesus meant. Why? Because because now their spirit led. Amen. Over in the book of Acts, we prove where how their spirit led because they knew what Jesus was talking about. Yes. In the name of Jesus, the yes. name Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is not names. Amen. Yes. So yes. you how the devil made people so ignorant. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I'll pass Amen. over to Evangelist Shalom. Amen. 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 I want to go to our reading text in Acts chapter 19, yes. um, but basically Paul, you know, he came across these disciples and he asked them, you know, have you been baptized correctly, essentially, and they told him no, um, and I want to go to verse 5, when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of Jesus, um, and when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came, came on them. Mm -hmm. But if we go back, you know, to verse 2, it says, you know, they didn't even hear that there was such a thing as the Holy Ghost. But that just shows as when you get baptized correctly and you, you can see the difference between when you were in a Baptist church and you come into a true holiness church. You can see that when you're in a Baptist church, people are playing around. People are acting like they have the Holy Ghost. Like we've talked about it multiple times. People are like dancing around and, you know, they falling out and all kinds of stuff. And it's like, okay, no, that's not, that's not real okay but when you really have the holy ghost when you've been baptized in jesus name you can feel the real holy ghost you can feel god's spirit pouring down on you and like we said multiple times god meets us here all the time you can feel that spirit you can feel it for real but people you know they're out in these different denominations and they want to just they want to play church they want to hear what they want to hear they they keep saying in that false church because they like it. They like what they hear. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, we try to go out there and we preach to people and tell them what they need to hear. And people, they turn their ear. You know, when we're out there witnessing, they keep driving by. They roll up their windows. They laugh oh, yeah. at you. They oh, record yeah. you. And it's just like, we're trying to save your soul, okay? We don't care about all that. Amen. We're trying to save your soul. You know, we want to, like, 
we when we go out there and, and have all it says, like if we just touch one soul, yeah, you know, we, you don't ever you never really know who you're going to influence and you know, you they may never even talk to you, but they may show up at the church one day. So, you know, like us continuous to teach and put it on YouTube and people watch us, people look at us, they watch our lifestyle, people watch the YouTube videos, but the people who are continuing to watch the YouTube videos and refuse to come into the church or refuse to be baptized, you're doing yourself a disservice, okay? If you are sitting here, you're watching True Life and you're refusing to call prophet or people who are calling him and then you're going to tell him that you're going to come and then you don't come, you're doing yourself a disservice because you have had the chance to meet prophet, you have had the chance to talk to the Lord. man of God yeah. and you still didn't come in. Amen. And like, you know, it's God gave you the, God let you come across a track. God let you come across uh, a saint in the church. God let you come across that and you still turned your back on him. But you know what? That We're still, it doesn't matter because we're still going to keep teaching. We're still going to preach people the word of God, the Amen. right word of God, not right. what this foolishness right. that T.D. Jake said, all these other people are teaching these people. No, we're teaching you the right word of God and we can back it up by scripture. You don't see us sitting here making up stuff. No, we're reading you the word of God. The King James Version, the real Bible, and that's what it says. It says we be baptized in Jesus' name. We're not making this stuff up. And like uh, uh, the King said, you can look it up for yourself. If you don't believe me, if you don't believe him, if you don't believe prophet, you can take the time to do the research because prophet takes the time to do the research. We can take the time to do the research and that's how we can come to you and tell you the real word of God, the true word of God that all these false preachers want to just take your money they don't want to teach you because they're scared that you're going to leave them if they teach you the truth. But you know, we're not scared. We're not ashamed to teach you the word of God because that's what's going to give you the heaven. Knowing that you need to be baptized in Jesus' name is how you're going to get to heaven. If we don't teach you, then we're not going to make it to heaven because we said on the word of God. And that's not what God wants us to do. We have to do the work of an evangelist and keep going out there, keep preaching to people, keep making sure people know that there are people out here, there's somebody in South Carolina that knows the word of God, that knows the truth of God. Just because you don't want to believe it doesn't mean I don't have to believe it. And just because the next person doesn't want to believe it doesn't mean that's somebody else that won't hear it. Don't, you know, when we go out to witness, somebody can still hear you even if they don't say nothing. And people can still hear you. People are still watching you, even if they, you know, they look and they walk and they turn and bump. It, it doesn't even matter that they they don't necessarily stop and say anything because we're still doing, doing the work of God, and that's what matters. It's the fact that we're teaching you that in order to truly be saved, you gotta be baptized in Jesus' name. That's what we're trying to teach you today. Because obviously, look at all these millions of people who have baptized, been baptized in Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. All these Catholics, all these uh, Baptists, all these. All, all these different denominations is confusing. Like it says mm -hmm. in First Corinthians, you know, we shouldn't have divisions of divisions among us. But you know, it's confusing. It's confusion, and God doesn't work with confusion. Mm -hmm. And like it says Amen. in Galatians, Amen. there is not another. There is no other gospel. There's Amen. only the gospel of God. There's only the Amen. word of God. Amen. You know, not these other translations, the NIV and whatever translation Bible there is. There's only the true word of God, the true baptism of God. That's all there is. That's all you need to follow. That's all you need to do. He's a no, repent, be baptized, like it says in Acts 2.38, believe in the word of God, believe in the man of God, right. come in and, Hello. you know, make it into heaven. That's the only way you're going to make it, if you come in yeah. and be baptized. Yeah. Pray much to the Lord. Amen. Holy Ghost will do, and dwell in the dew for you to put some fire on you. Amen. All right. Amen. Jeremiah Amen. say, like, fire shut up in my bones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Man, it, uh, you know, make you... Mm. Preach and live what thus said the Lord, you know, yeah. and here's the thing what people does not realize the word of God is to everybody But it's not for everybody yeah, but man, You want right. to save your soul yeah. and like what Peter say save yourself from this untoward generation yeah, In other words mama I heard a, I was witnessing to, witnessing to a young man this some years ago He told me say my mama done took care of that <laughs> Your mama the Bible say work out your own salvation with fear and trembling you know, mama can't save you, or daddy can't save you. You got right. to, the Bible says, save yourself. In other words, you got to get water baptized in Jesus' right. name. Amen. And after right. you get water baptized in Jesus' name, you got to live a holy and sanctified life All in right. this present right. world. Right. <laughs> so Amen. getting baptized in Jesus, that's just the starting point, yes. you know. Mm -hmm. But it's just like, you know, uh, like the Bible says, uh, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, in other words, if you don't got the Holy Ghost indwelling, it's impossible for you to live a holy and sanctified lifestyle, yes. you know. It's just like when I was at Spartanburg Steel, I was there for 15 years and I was a die setter. I had to pick up 40 ton uh, dies. Mm. But could I do? Could I pick pick up the 40 ton die by myself? No. I hooked it up with the crane and when I hooked it up with the crane and hit that button, I can lift it up. 
All and right. that's the same thing with serving God. Yes. If you got God's spirit indwelling, all if right. you got that fire, if yes. you got that Holy Ghost, Amen. then yeah. all that's right. my Paul said, I can do all things through Christ. That strengthens me. Right. Paul said, I can't do it of myself, but through Christ Jesus, you know. And that's why on the road to Damascus, uh, when, 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 he, when the Lord knocked him down, he mm -hmm. asked the Lord, what must I do? He said, go to Ananias. In other words, I got a preacher to tell you. That's and that's right. why God raised up Prophet Walker Amen. to tell you. He raised up to to tell you what the Lord said. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you got, to, uh, you, 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 you got to do the work yourself, but somebody got to tell you. You know? you know, you can't just pick up the whole of the scriptures and, and, and think you're going to come into the full knowledge of, of the truth or come up to the understanding by yourself. You have to be taught. Just Amen. like a child, like yes. a prophet teacher. Don't care how smart that child is, right. how intellectual he is. Mm -hmm. If he don't go to school and learn his ABCs and that's one, right. two, threes, mm -hmm. it'll be all for naught. Yes. And that's the same thing with you. If you want to be saved and live a holy, sanctified life, if you want to go to heaven, you better yeah. sit Preach. right up under prophet H. Right. Walker, yeah. just like yeah. you are. And if any time you deny, you deny, God's true plan of salvation, you will never see God's face in peace. I don't say what GD, TD Jakes, or Joyce Myers, Benny Hinn, or any of them tell you. Mm -hmm. You cannot deny God's true word and be saved. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Those who are viewing, especially by way of YouTube, Amen. these are panels are coming to you from the Lord Jesus Christ yes. to change your lifestyle and teach you things that you are not taught in your local area church. Yes. Now for summation, we're going to have, I think it was Evangelist Teresa, Amen. followed by remarks from Minister Green in that order. Let's give the panel a hand for bringing up the scripture about the one plan of salvation. And um, this is a very basic scripture, but it's the most important teaching that you can ever come across in, in the holiness walk. Without this, you can't build. You know, God said, be careful how you build. You know, you've got to have the foundation. The foundation is found in Acts 2.38. Got to go down in Jesus' name. You've got to repent first and truly say, Lord, I offended you, and I want to get right. Because the scripture um, I've been meditating on today, you know, uh, so what should it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? A lot of people don't even care about their soul. They're just thinking about right now, right now, what can I get? I can get another fix, another high, another, another uh, drink or something or whatever. They're always seeking pleasure. But we should have our mind on spiritual values. Yes. And then if you do that, you know, keep your mind off all this stuff in this world. You got to keep your mind pure and at peace. Amen. Keep all this Amen. stuff away from your, your mind right. and from your ears. You don't want to hear all people talking not like how we're talking in the Word of God. Yes. Yeah, because in, um, in Hebrews, you know, 11 and 6 brought up many times about without faith it's impossible to please God. But then some people might come to me and say, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing y'all preachers, but I just don't believe it. What the Bible says, you know, I'm going to go... Uh, to James 1 and 5, you know, he said, well, you know, if, if you want something, then you ask Jesus for it. If you, if you, if you yes. really want to be saved, you say, Lord, but help me. Because even Peter said, I believe, Lord, but help thou my unbelief. Because yeah. the bottom line is, these people, I don't think they really want to be saved anyway. So they, they just make up any excuse. But in James chapter 1, verse 5, uh, and I want to read, um, read the verse 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that give it to all men liberally, and abrade it not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavers like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let that, that man think he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. And that's what these people are in the world. They're double-minded. They want part of the world. They want part of the God, part of the church, and part of do whatever. We can't have both. You can only pick one. And that's what my God says in this word. Only Anything that's not of faith is sin. Anything that's not of faith is sin. And to not believe in God itself is to sin itself. You don't even believe in God. That, 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 that's the most horrible thing, not to even have faith in God, you know. It, it, it's really sad because some people don't really believe in God. They Amen. don't. Because they wouldn't do the things they do. They wouldn't Amen. say the things they say. All right. Amen. And you see horrible things every day on television. That's why I don't watch it too much. I just try to get the basic news and I'm done. I, I can't take, try to fill myself with all that wickedness. You know, just too much stuff going out there. Just it, They need Jesus. 
They need righteousness and they can't do it themselves. And that's why you got to get baptized correctly because it represents what? That your old man is being buried, is dying, you know. And a new man got to come. That's why we have the scripture right behind us about Ephesians 4.24. You both become new in Christ Jesus. And that's what baptism is for. You got to get down. You got to yes. say, Lord, I want to change. I want to be like you. Right. I want to be righteous. I want to love my brother and sister right. in Christ. I want to have patience. I want to have long suffering. I want to have brotherly kindness. I don't want to be happy in iniquity. I want to be happy right. rejoicing in the truth. And that's why I'm telling you, some of these people are like this. Right. That's why uh, 1 Peter 3, chapter 13 is like so dear to my soul. Yes. That people just meditate and read that every day, once a day. Do you know that's the type of love God talking about? He's not talking about sensual love. He's talking about spiritual agape love. And it's found in 1 Peter chapter 13. And we have to walk with that because it starts off with about in suffering and, and enduring. Because why you got to suffer and do it? Because you got to put this flesh under subjection, like Paul said, to be able to please God. You can't say everything you want to say. You can't, you can't think anything that you want to think. You can't do anything you want to do. Because now my body is consecrated toward God, you know. Right. You got to have a mind right. and a heart and a hand to serve God, you know. The mind, people's minds are filled with filth. Today we're riding the church today the filthy song that came into the ears of the people, the people riding the church bus. I said, listen to that. I mean, we had, I mean, we had the windows down because it's so hot. I wish I could have just put the windows up, but you know, we, I mean, it was so hot. But we were trying to wait for that light. Thank God it didn't. I mean, I didn't sit there too long. But they like to fill Amen. themselves with filth. Why don't you fill yourself with hearing this word of God? All right. Fill yourself with God's word. Amen. Meditate on it. The faith coming by here, hear about the word of God. And you gotta listen. Yes. Faith coming by here, hearing the word of God. You have to have an open heart to that. Because God said, well, if it's here to sit to those that are lost, but if you're not lost, you're going to receive this word, and it's going to touch you, and it's going to change you. And you're going to say, that, don't, be, don't be too proud, because I'm going to say I'm a candidate for what with the scripture was brought out today. I had to humble myself and got rebaptized. I was so thankful that God showed me that. I was Amen. following my mother around all this stuff. I ended up getting it. I I was baptized in the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, and Jesus' name. But I knew the church I was at was not right. I kept searching and searching and searching and searching until I found prophet. You know, but even before I found prophet, I found the correct baptism because God sent me to a different church for that. But he was moving me along my progression. But I knew that I was not baptized correctly. When they showed me in the Bible, it's like my soul lit up. I was so thankful. I was hungry for the truth, for God's word. And these people are not hungry. They ain't hungry for righteousness. They ain't hungry to change. They want Jesus to do it for them. No, he's not. He already did it. He already died on Calvary Cross. Now it's up to you to do your part. Now people got to, y'all got to stop all this foolishness. The Bible says, and all, and all the things you do, do all in the name of Jesus, right? You're getting baptized, right? So what would just be so hard about stop being so proud and stubborn and just say, yes, Lord, I'm, I'm going to get baptized in Jesus' name. I want to be rebaptized. Come to property. You're happy to rebaptize you. And you'll start seeing God do miracles. You take one step, God take two. Just have some humility. People don't have a lot of humility today. They think they're always right. They think their way is always the right way, but it is not, you know. You know, how do, how, how do I get faith? Well, I'm telling you, first of all, you you, you, you got to want faith. And too many people live by knowledge and all this stuff. you got to live by the love of God and God's word. Things may be so, like the Bible says, a lot of times, uh, you know, the, the scripture in the Bible says, um, love cover the multitude of sins. It don't mean like cover it, like try to hide it. It means it forgives. So God is a forgiving God. He wants, he, that's why he's so long-suffering. He can be so much time to get it right, time to get it right, time to get it right. You better, you know, you should take, take, take advantage of this time. Who's ever watching this right now? Amen. Take advantage of the time, the grace God giving you to get yourself right. He loves you. That's why he's so long-suffering. Put it up with this and keep putting it because he doesn't want anybody to be separated from him. He don't want anybody to be burning the lake of fire. But you have, you have to want that for yourself. You just got to humble yourself, humble your mind. Amen. Stop thinking, thinking wrong thoughts. Do you know this is where the devil lives here in the mind? Especially for these homosexuals and, and sodomites, I know about uh, I know about them before he came. I know about the spirit. I, told, I can feel the spirit come on. They are so oppressed by the devil that got them a hold on them, making them believe a lie. Yeah. God chooses your identity at birth. There's nothing you can do about it. You can't Man. change it. Man. That's it. You just mad with God will be mad with God. Too bad. But but you, you can't say I'm, I'm transitioning to a male. I'm transitioning to a female. What kind of foolishness is that? It make you even look as ignorant more than what you are. I mean, these people are ignorant. Ignorant of God's truth. Ignorant. I'm going to have to say that because in this case, they are ignorant. Amen. What is wrong with you? Because you got a mental illness. Because anybody who's controlled by the devil is mentally ill. But thank God we're controlled by God's spirit that flows through prophet teaching us this Bible. We ain't mentally ill. That's what he said. And I will give you power, love, and a sound mind. Yes. These sodomites and lambs, don't y'all need a sound mind, you know? 
Amen. You need a sound mind. And I don't feel sorry for you. You crazy. Amen. To a degree. I mean, how can you even, that's filth. That's not um, glorifying God. Two men and two women uh, together. They can't, they can't uh, be fruitful and multiply. Amen. Children are God's heritage, God's reward. That's why the devil wants to destroy them. Amen. He destroyed right. it. It's, 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 it. And that's why the devil wants to destroy us. You got spiritually destroying the children and naturally destroying the children. Through the abortion, all that. Don't you see all this? A demonic force. That's why a lot of our prophets are bringing out this movement now. Save our children. Save our children on the day. Anybody out there? Save. If you, if, you out there, if, you, if you don't want to get saved for yourself, you get baptized your name for yourself. Do it for your children so you give them blood protection over them. A lot of people don't have what we have here. Y'all are so blessed. You know, these children here in the Shulite Church, they have no idea how blessed they are to be in this church. They have no idea they have to deal with the, all this craziness of this world. But I thank God for the wonderful panel that's went for it. I thank God for always going back to the basis. But the basis is what we need. This is the basis, and I love when prophet is competitive. I love when it be teach because it's drilling in you and drilling in you some more, drilling in you some more. You're coming in, and you're coming in. Keep drilling in you. So when you come up against that test, all oh, that word is ringing from prophet said over and over. I mean, it's ringing in your soul. Amen. You know, Amen. I should play my for the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Give all honor, all praise, all glory to our Heavenly Father. God, His name is Jesus Christ, our loving Lord and Savior, to the head of our life. Amen. Author of Finish Our Faith. Give double honor, double praise, one time, one time, one time. Give all honor, praise, the whole heart of the faith. Give all honor, praise, our beloved Mother Smith. Give all honor, praise, my beautiful, blessed wife and holiness. All honor, praise, where honor, praise is due. Again, I'd like to thank God for for bringing myself and each and every one of my brothers and sisters out of the darkness into the marvelous light, bringing us to a true double anointed prophet of the Lord, who's brought Amen. us up the mountain with him to teach us God's ways. Yes. According to uh, scriptures, Isaiah 2 and 3 says, Many people shall go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of God, and say, and God, he will teach us his ways. Yes. Uh, that's exactly what Prophet H. Walker has done for each and every one of us. We thank Amen. you, Prophet. We love you with all of our hearts. Uh, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for, for choosing us to, to be part of this. And we, we pray that we never let you down again, as we've done so many times in the past. We pray that every day is a, a new day in your in stepping forth in uh, our new creation as you've made us. Um, tonight's scriptures were uh, Galatians 1 and 6, Acts 2.38, Acts 19.1-5. You know, I was brought out many times in the past by our loving, steadfast prophet, Prophet H. Walker. You know, we bring it out by Bible that there's only one way into heaven, and that way begins with a sincere heart and a desire to know Christ and a will to stop sinning. Uh, according to the 19th chapter of Acts, verse 15, you must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for remission of your sins, not in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, you know, it's by, uh, we've taught you time and time again that, you know, uh, the Encyclopedia uh, Britannica, third edition, I pray I believe it's page two or 365. Uh, you know, Prophet's done all the homework for you. It's that's uh, a Roman Catholic uh, way of baptizing. And yes. It's it's a false bat, false baptism. You know, so uh, if you really don't believe it, look it up for yourself. Like I said, Prophet's done all the homework for you. All you got to do is just pick up the book and read it. Uh, you know, there's only one way to heaven, and it begins with the baptism, uh, according to Matthew three. 14 through 15, Jesus himself commanded John to baptize him. And, you know, John the Baptist said, There is no need to baptize you, for I know who you are. And Jesus spoke to him and said, Suffer it to be to fulfill, fulfill all righteousness. So, by the Bible, Acts 2.38, Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remissions of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, yes. which will, you will definitely need for... Without the Holy Spirit, you'll never understand what's written in the Apostles' Doctrine or receive any blessings from the Kingdom of Heaven. You know, so now that you know that, the Lord, what the Lord has spoken to you, according to Galatians 1 and 6, it says, Marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Jesus, the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which there is not another. There is no other gospel, there is no other way. Stop listening to these false preachers and these false teachers and false prophets, for there's only one way. Right. And Colossians 2 and 8, uh, you know, like it was brought out by the panel, um, Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. There is no other gospel. Don't listen to all these vain, deceitful philosophies that these, these people are teaching you to just to get your money and to steal your soul because they really are just Amen. taking your soul to hell. 
you know, and, and another thing, you know, after the baptism in Jesus' name, you know, we can't forget about the Battle of Nazareth, you know, in the Battle of Nazareth, Amen. it talks about it in number 6, 1 through 10, you know, it talks about, you know, putting away all strong drinks, uh, you know, razor shall come to your head or your face, um, you know, it's very important, once you get baptized in Jesus' name, you must take the Battle of Nazareth, so uh, I'm so grateful for all that prophets taught us, and, you know, like I said before, I don't believe in any any coincidences, you know, I, I spoke about it. I didn't know what the panel was, but I, I brought it up to uh, somebody right before uh, about the baptism in Jesus' name. So I believe the Holy Spirit is talking to you. So, uh, again, I pray the strength of the Lord, and uh, we thank you, Prophet. Amen. You may save your soul one day if you have a mind to hear. But thus saith the Lord. Amen. We want to ask our daughter Sarah to come up and have fine words for this morning. Amen. Don't trust false devils because they can deceive you in many ways. And I've seen like lately on the internet where like these videos of like fake preachers and like they touch it and they fake and stuff and they're taking videos and it's so stupid. They never know what they're doing. Right. So <laughs> I just want to stick to the world and stick to the world and stick to the world. I'm going to get back the new uh, track of from uh, Sock. Save our children. We want this to go to every city Amen. in the United States of America. Right. Teachers teach the children and program them uh, to a boy to be a girl and a girl to be a boy. And if the parent tries to intervene, they are actually going against the children's civil rights. So you see how they are trying to use a legal technicality. This movement to get your children. Yep. Mm. So the Lord had placed in my heart about a week, uh, maybe two weeks ago, to get this organized movement to save the children of America. Amen. Amen. Another day I mentioned about this book uh, that's being passed out, and from now what I understand, it's even into certain schools and certain states. Yeah. It's called Gender Queer, mm -hmm. where they go to explicit yeah. sexual content. For children, mm -hmm. teach them things. Ain't not nobody got a right to teach your child nothing, if, but mom and daddy. Mm -hmm. Ain't no school teacher got nothing to teach, teach children. You teach them ABCs and arithmetic. You done your job. All right, all right. That's why the children are so, doing so uh, bad in public schools. Yes. You trying to teach them how to change their gender rather than teach them how to read and write. All right, all right. Do your job. Let the mothers and fathers do their. I think that's where it used to be. I think we better go back to that. All right. Yes. So I'm saying I want everybody before you leave here, get one of those tracks, mothers especially. Get one of those tracks. May the Lord watch. May the Lord watch. Between me and thee. While we are absent. While we are absent. One from another. Oh, In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. God be with you. God be with you. God be with you until we meet again. God be with you. God be with you. God be with you until we 